have a small collective haul for you guys today. Um, I placed an order with Illyrian Polish and um, Live Love Polish about a couple of weeks ago and they both came in yesterday and I thought I'd film my first impression, well not necessarily first impressions because I've pretty much swatched these and I have that to show you here. Um, but Illyrian Polish, I found them uh, in or on Instagram. When I found their Instagram page, I fell in love. I love her polishes. They're very ethereal is the only word I could think of. Uh, very glowy and shimmery and just the colors just spoke to me. So slowly but surely, I'm getting more and more of her polishes. As for Live Love Polish, um, I got an email saying that this was back in stock, which is Sparks Will Fly um, by their own brand, and I just had to see it for myself. Um, it's that iridescent glitter topper that just it looks very unicorny, if you will. Um, it's very iridescent and it looks like um, opal-ish. I just love that type of um, polishes lately. I'm just in love with those and whenever I see one, I just want to grab it. And also along with that, whoops, along with that email, it showed that this was back in stock, which is... Um, Wonder World, which they put on the email and saying that it sold out so fast and I have major FOMO, which is fear of missing out, so <laughs> I kind of just went ahead and looked and placed an order, so, so I'll be showing you those. Um, so first off, let's start with Illyrian. I got three shades from them. Um, one is Love Potion. Here. And it's a light purple, light lavender. Um, I would say with uh, holographic glitters with little flakies in there too. I don't know if you could see that, but there's flakies in there. And I got, I think it's Lyra, which is, when I saw this, I, was just, I just thought mermaid, you know? So, holographic glitter with, I can't tell if there's flakies in there. Here is there some flakies. I don't think there is, but I just love how the base just glows. So it has, it definitely has some green or teal shimmers in there so i love that and the last one is sunset i'm out of center here okay which kind of looks like the polish that i'm wearing right now which is um where is it which is uh i love nail polishes um closed knit from their fall collection their new fall collection that just came out so kind of similar but not really and i'll show you a comparison between the two from the swatch that i made <clears throat> but this one when i saw the swatches of it online i just thought i had to have it it's so pretty so that's that for illyrian and then for live love polish again i mentioned that they came out with their own line I think they call it their core line or their baseline of polishes and one of them was this which is sparks will fly and again first impression I love this thing it's it's beautiful it's just you wouldn't think I mean a lot of these glitter toppers nowadays it's very sparse this one is definitely not so I'll show you that in a minute and this one, which is the Wonder World, eh, 
that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm like, eh. Now this one though, which is Blackberry Mousse, I was very surprised, happily surprised with. I mean, it doesn't. It it looks like it needs to be shaken, but it's all good in there. And I really like the fact that this is almost a one coater. If depending on your application, it's definitely it could be a one coater, which is nice for a cream because oh, God knows I'm going to put a lot more on top of this color but it's very nice and this one right here which is picture polishes revolution it says it's a glitter base coat and foil top coat I definitely was not I was leaning more on the foil top coat part of this um, product um, one thing that I have really had my eye on is the Aurora pigment from what's up nails and the way that you have to use it is um, with gel polish and I've never really dabbled into gel polishes before but from my understanding is once you cure gel polishes they have that tacky um, coat that you put the um, the pigments on which I really don't want to dabble into that so when I saw this I thought okay that might be a good way to go about it because I really don't want to be putting gel on my nails not that there's anything wrong with it I've just I just don't want to deal with it but that's what I got this for is eventually I will pull the trigger and get the Aurora pigment it is a little pricey Although I did place an order with AliExpress and the Born Pretty store has their own version which is for a lot cheaper. But when that comes, I'll play with it. But that's what I got this for. Now for the little swatches that I made. Um, <clears throat> for Illyrian's uh, Love Potion, this is... Uh, three coats with a top coat so you can definitely see that there's little flakies in there mm, it kind of shows up a little bit but it is just so pretty I love purples and this just has my name written all over it <clears throat> and then this is oh my goodness I forgot the name already Lyra Lyra so the shimmer doesn't really show up that well but it definitely has that green teal almost almost there's it looks like there would be gold in there too shimmers that's really pretty and then this is sunset I remember that name <laughs> there's sunset right there Now for, um, I never even mentioned the brand of this, Ice Cream Nails, which the packaging is cute, but I don't know. It kind of makes it a little difficult to put things on, but anyway, tangent. Um, this is, uh, two, um, coats of Blackberry Mousse, and the reason why there's two is because it's really, sh I mean, on the nails, I believe it won't be a problem. It could be a one coater. But with the swatch sticks, it was definitely see through still, so I put two. And I love the fact that it's self leveled. One thing about creams that annoys the crap out of me is when they're streaky. But this one's self leveled, and you can see it's completely, well, right on the inner little corner. Um it's almost completely just leveled and streak free now to show you um wonder world right wonder world this i was in about honestly the reason i got it too is because i was thinking maybe it will give the effect of the aurora powder with just um 
nail polish, which that's what it looked like online when I saw the email. But really, I mean, you could barely, it kind of gives that effect. But I didn't like how streaky it went on. So this is on top of a white base coat, which is what I would normally use with these. Um, I believe they look amazing over black, but I like light colored nails and I would use it over white instead. But it just, it looks streaky. Like this is, the first coat was very streaky. Um, whatever it is in there, the shimmers and all of that came very sparse so this is actually like three coats of of that polish that topper and it looks decent but I'm like eh, it doesn't you know it doesn't get me too excited about it and I was like okay I have it okay now this on the other hand I was very pleasantly surprised with this is um, the Live Love Polish Sparks Will Fly and this is just one coat one coat of the glitter topper that is crazy how it's so pretty and how it was so well dispersed dispersed? what? it was very well um whatchamacallit it spread out really evenly in a sense and it just looks so pretty look at that shift it's so pretty I cannot wait to use this and I would definitely use this over white as well which is this is um, two coats of uh, a white polish that I have this one I'm really excited about that's just one coat and if I were to build this up to full opaqueness if that's even a word I think it would be really really pretty but anyways that is my small little haul for you guys um, I hope you enjoyed it um, if there's any if you have any questions about Illyrian not that I would know a whole lot, but if you have any questions about the polishes and all of that, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!